This current affair started when I was browsing uh, Swedish boot ads and suddenly I stumbled upon this beautiful 36 foot sailboat which only had a couple of uh, blurry photos but the lines were visible and it looked beautiful at least to my eye probably because it's designed by the same guy Ole Enderlein, the Swedish designer who has uh, designed my current boat Shipman 28 it didn't take me long to establish contact with the seller and soon I was on my way to Sweden over the sea. As you can see, I'm on board the DFDS ship Patria Seaways now. And uh, we are heading to Sweden, Kapelskar. I don't know yet, but this is the journey which may change all my future savings. We arrived to Sweden in the morning and sunrise greeted its beautiful small islands. After a few hours of driving, I arrived to the boat club, just half an hour earlier. Good morning. I'm now in Sweden, in Tyresa, Tyresa Boat Club. I hope this is the correct place uh, where I should meet the owner of the boat, OE36. I don't even know her name. I think, I mean, I know the name of the owner, but I don't know the name of the boat. And um, I spent the night on the ferry from uh, Estonia to Sweden. Didn't sleep uh, very well because the bed was making noise and uh, the engine vibrations from the big ship and so on and so on. And, and of course, I'm a bit nervous because yeah, I cannot wait to see the, the boat. And, the, and I mean, this is a total project and I, I don't know how bad is it. I really hope it's worth saving. We will see soon. The owner arrived soon and what I saw was much better than I was expecting. The boat was nicely under cover and it wasn't so bad. So finally I am at the boat and she's a beauty. <laughs> she's a real beauty. Not cosmetically, but, but the design itself and it's stored under the car. It's hard to justify at this angle, but uh, I already like it. I already like what I see. I took some photos and then started a thorough inspection. It took me all together about three hours to go through the boat. I saw a lot of potential but I also saw a lot of work ahead of me. I'm up on the deck now. And so it has been, the old teak has been removed from the deck, which which I'm actually happy with because I see the condition of the deck a few years ago or maybe more than a few years ago the owner started replacing the cap rail with the teak but as he said where the bend became tight he quit and so here it is we have nice stainless window frames 
and according to him the decor is divinicel i don't know how to pronounce it divinicel not plywood which which i am also very happy with and so let's move aft the anti ski needs new paint and maybe the top top sides as well definitely the deck needs new paint or teak has to be decided we are missing the covers here and there but according to him everything is somewhere and the boat is complete okay I'll continue the survey one more thing I really like about the boat is that the I don't know how to call it tow rail maybe or, or yeah anyway the, the extending part the, the deck and hull joint yeah that's uh, that's the better term it's already laminated it's all together in one piece no bolt holes to leak so it only needs a nice cap rail and and it's done something is going on with the rudder shaft there is some strange plastic tube around it I'm not sure if, if it is watertight on my old boat there was a sealed tube around the shaft so I think it, it should be the same I mean it can be temporarily sealed to sail it home but definitely it, it needs some other kind of tube nice thing is that the through holes don't look so bad as a matter of fact they, they look good I'm inside the boat now and I have to warn you it's a total mess it's like it hasn't been cleaned before it was torn and all the stuff is thrown here and there and yeah project unfinished there is a propane stove on, on gimbal i think or is it there is it? no it isn't i think it's no it is it's not gimbaled That's quarter berth quite roomy Some sort of chart table, electrical panel, winches and winch bases. Winch bases are made of stainless, I think, I think two mil stainless and they definitely don't look strong. So need to think about some stronger option. Uh, there is a table. Main traveler. The windows are surrounded with some kind of veneered wood, but what wood is it? No idea. Headliner. Uh, we can see here that the cabin top is sandwiched with balsa. Okay. But it doesn't look too bad, at least underneath, and I... 
I tried to knock every inch, every square inch of the deck and, and it didn't feel soft anywhere. And I, here is a little darker spot. You need to check that out behind the mast mast hole yeah it may it may have leaked so it's worth investigating but other than that the balsa looks okay yeah and it's balsa all the way here are yeah, at least one anchor. The ladder, horseshoe. Mm. Okay, here is some storage and, and the owner has built a box, anchor box in the bow. And it looks solidly built. Nothing bad to say about this. Backing plates for bow cleats are there. So it's v berth is lined with some wood strips. This is mast base and I don't get what is going on here, what it's like filled with some material, but what material is it? No idea. And, uh, propane water heater and here here you can see the, the radiators are in which which are heated by hot water and they give heat to the cabin not my favorite system to be honest Okay, I will keep digging, digging, keep digging in the dirt. Volvo Penta 2002, two cylinder diesel. Well, these beams, or what do you call them, floors, under the floor panels, they are definitely rotten and moving around. I'm not sure if they are structural. I think they are structural members because it, it looks like there is fiberglass floors underneath those beams and these are just supporting the the floor panels but yeah it needs the boat needs definitely woodwork a lot of woodwork the engine base yeah it's not not so good either I didn't have the tools with me to pull out the keel bolts, but uh, outside they did look quite okay. There was no no obvious rust, and yeah, and the nuts and backing plates. Yeah, it looked fine.
there is some strange material cast around the mast base and I don't get what it is. It's some resin mix or something. I have no idea. It's mast base. Consists of two different parts. Looks like an old one and a new one. And this strange resin mix continues here in, in the aft side of the bulkhead. So no idea what it is. I just can't resist, I have to try if I, if I fit in the four peak. Two people, then the feet will cross, of course. So. I think my Shipman 28, the current boat, has even more room in the V berth. So. The decor is definitely balsa. No foam. Foam is just where the previous owner, or current owner I have to say, because I have not bought the boat yet. He installed a new hatch and yeah, he put some foam here. Deck and hull joint is laminated together, so I'm not expecting any leaks there. Some of the job is really rough. The bulk said don't look to be too rotten, but uh, Worth investigating. Okay. Let's go on. One final short video about the boat deck before we, we go to the owner and speak about money. signed the contract. I don't know if to be happy or to be sad but <laughs> it's a huge job before me now and uh, the boot is on the heart. The previous owner agreed agreed to launch it for the purchase price and uh, and to help us raise the mast and uh, put on all the fittings, basic fittings that we need temporarily to, to sail the boat home because it's not possible to bring it home on a trailer. The roads are too narrow and the boat is too big. He's just driving before me on his Volvo. We are going to his workplace. make copy of a contract and count the money. I will pay half of the amount right now and the other half when we come to collect the boat. It will happen maybe in a month or so. Depends on uh, how quickly he can launch it and 
and uh, when I can take my holiday, the second part of my holiday, the first part I have planned to sail my shipment 28 Victoria, so Suddenly the future feels so uncertain. Where to put the boat when I've sailed it home? Where to store it? How to store it? <laughs> so many questions. Fingers crossed everything goes well. This is the final episode of my boat buying trip. Sweden is somewhere behind there. My new lovely boat is waiting for me to collect her. Thank you for watching and don't forget you live only once.